Welcome back. I'm Shaq Miyazaki. This is another video. We got another Kendra G show. And this lady is somebody that I think everybody would judge. Even a nun would judge this lady. She believes it's appropriate to say that she don't want a person that did the same thing that she did. Like, like that makes sense. Like somewhere up there, she thought that I'm going to do this. Family members, friends, nobody looked her in the eyes and told her that's like the slowest thing I've ever heard. Like, I'm pretty sure a bus is supposed to come pick you up early, right? But hold up. He's just hitting this video. I need you to hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. In the comment section, give me a thumbs up or a heart. Just let me know that it's real. But let's waste no more time. Let's roll the clip. I'm calling you from Dallas. Dallas, how old are you? I'm 36. 36, what you do for a living? I work for, for an insurance company. Insurance company, you have any kids? No children. No kids. Um, Patrice, right? Yes. Patrice, Dallas, 36, what's your zodiac sign? I don't believe in that. What the f did I just hear? She's the first one. That was the first time I ever heard that. I respect it, but you're the first time I ever heard that. Never married? Biblically, yes. Le um, biblically, no. Legally, yes. How long I'll, just leave it. I'll just leave it at that. So legally, I was married, but not biblically. How many years were you legally married for? Um, Two and a half. So when did you get divorced? 2019. So was it a deal? Like a, you got married to help somebody out? No. So he was, so I don't believe in divorce and remarriage. And he's been married two times before me. Um, so marriage is until death. So I had to leave uh, due to my beliefs. So anybody that's been married before, it's a deal breaker. So you won't get married again yourself then? No, I will, because I've never been married before outside of him. That's why I say biblically, I wasn't married. Girl, now you know it's going to make no damn sense. That, it do. It do. It does. Madam, just because you say it does don't mean it do. Like, that was wild. You got married. Are you just saying that marriage don't count? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Because it does. That marriage does count. This is the first time I've seen Kendra G and she pushed back on somebody within a minute and 40 seconds. She pushed back on you before two minutes. I've never seen this. Kendra has finally had enough. So yeah. you were legally married mm -hmm. and you want to get married again, but mm -hmm. you won't marry a man that was once married because you don't believe in somebody getting married after they were married. Right. It's until death. So if you go out and marry someone, but honey, you um, were but married, honey, but you were married and you got divorced for whatever reason. So I'm not here to challenge why you got divorced, but you essentially wouldn't even marry yourself. You are the person you're talking about. We can leave it at that. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. Whoa! Paging Kevin Samuels. You know you sound retarded. You got to know. You can't be an adult with an actual job that people don't have another adult watching and say what you just said. She dress herself. She must wear an adult diaper. Patrice Dallas, 36, insurance company, no kids, was married legally but not biblically and ready to get married again. And if you are a divorcee, you are not an option for her. What right. kind of man are you looking for, girl? So I'm not really looking, but I want a man that is emotionally ready. Um, a man of the most high. So he's living the word, not just talking about it. Um, like I said, uh, someone that's not been married, financially stable, um, a kind man, loving, uh, just a good person. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, if you have more than two children. So you won't marry a guy who's been divorced because, you know, most men don't ask for divorce. Who's been divorced, but you will marry a guy who has two kids. 
but wasn't married. You think that makes sense, don't you? Um, that's a deal breaker. And if they're under seven, um, someone that's mean, uh, someone that's a leech that doesn't have a job, doesn't have a career, just not doing anything with their life. No. So at least match me or be doing something with your life. Oh, we have an audio issue. I wonder if it's on my end. Let's see if it went away. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, just be taller than me. I'm five seven and a half. Um, no, not really. Just be taller than me. Should he make a certain amount of money? At least fifty k. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. That's when you stand up. Can you see me? Can you see me? See no, your legs. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. Patrice, right, when was your last relationship? That was the worst Kendra cam I have ever seen. I think Kendra just don't want you here no more. I'm being honest with you. She does not want you on her show no more because she already has declared that you're stupid because that was the worst Kendra cam ever. All I seen was your head and your feet. That's it. These women are creating a new Kendra. Uh, last real relationship was um, the man I was married to. Okay. Oh, uh, we got we got um, some paid questions for you. Um, Damon Dennis said, so divorced men are a no go. But men that have children out of wedlock are okay. Thank you. That's on them. Like, that has nothing to do with me. Crack! Crack! So, hey, let's cut to the quickie. Man, we smoking crack. <gasps> I can't believe she just said that. How's the divorce got anything to do with you? What are you talking about? And that's why you got those thick-ass glasses on. You look like that black layoff of my cousin Vinny. How many fingers am I holding up? Mm. You can't help them all. You can't help them all. I'm gonna keep going before I say something I shouldn't say on YouTube. I guess we're trying to understand the mindset that you have from a biblical sense. So um, the notion would be like, so if a guy had was married and had kids, he's not an option. But if a guy procreated and didn't marry the woman he procreated with, he is an option. That's between them and the most high. They don't have nothing to no, do we're with asking, me. No, no, we're asking Ooh. you. Yeah, I mean, he's still an option, yes. Okay, so just the clarity. He can have kids that never been married, but he couldn't have kids that been married. Right. Man, we smoking crack. <gasps> the nine photo says, sounds like a walking contradiction. So you don't want a man that was married, but you was married. So that means you are the walking red flag. <laughs> Well, you got to understand the Bible to know where I'm coming from. What? When you've been married, let's just say two people that are single and they get married and, um, you know, you divorce for whatever reason. The Bible says you can do that, but it doesn't give any uh, reason where you should be going out and remarrying. You're married to that person until death. Now, if you go get remarried, you're in adultery until you, you know, divorce them and go back to your first spouse. You got to understand the word. That's why I'm not. That, that's not true at all. In the New Testament, you definitely can remarry under certain circumstances. Wait, so are we talking about the New Testament or the Old Testament? Which one? The basic principle concerning divorce and remarriage is laid out clearly in 1 Corinthians 7 verses 10 to 11. To the married I give this command, not I, but the Lord a wife must not separate from her husband. But if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband. And a husband must not divorce his wife. So, the foundational rule is that there should be no divorce and, if a divorce does happen, no remarriage. Once we understand the basic rule that there should be no remarriage after a divorce, we can look at the possible exceptions to that rule. One possible allowance for remarriage after a divorce is found in Matthew 19 verse 9. If the marriage ended because of adultery, then the wronged spouse may be free to remarry. Oh. That's wild, because based off what I just heard was this. He's technically married to you, his first spouse, and his second one. Based off the Corinthians, which is the Old Testament, he's married to all three of you, because he can't divorce. New Testament-wise, he can remarry if he was the wrong spouse. 
So, madam, you're technically wrong, and you're still married to him. He has three wives. Yeah, that's that Old Testament, baby. Unless we go on New Testament, then you're still wrong because he still can't remarry if he's the spouse that's been wronged. Pick one. I'm not here to, you know, I argue about it. the question is, we're trying to figure out why are you the exception to your rule because you yourself were married. So, why so anybody, in, anybody's the exception if you've never been married before. Marriage is for two people who, who have never been married before. That's what right. marriage okay, is. Okay, but Trish, we understand that. But I guess what we're trying to understand is because you were once married yourself. So it's it like wasn't biblical, biblical, though. So could a man be like you? Could he say he was married, but it wasn't biblical? Is he an option? Yes, he can. If if he's never married prior to the one that he married, let's just say, for, for instance, me. I was never married prior to the man that I was married to, right? He was married two times before me, so I was his third marriage. So therefore, his first spouse, she's still living. He's still married to her biblically. Just because you go out and get remarried again, that doesn't know, make that marriage null and void it. You're still married to that person. But a lot of people don't see it that way. She is really just using the Old Testament and New Testament wrong. You can't play with it. Old Testament, you cannot remarry. He can get married multiple times. I don't know the number, but he can marry multiple times. Y'all have a throuple or corporal. I don't know what it's called. Y'all, all four of y'all are together. I didn't make the rules. I didn't make them. <sighs> I didn't make the rules. So should a man think you're still married to him since he was your first husband? He wasn't my first. He wasn't mine. He was never, he never belonged to me. He still belonged to his first spouse. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. So let me ask this. When you got married to him, you didn't know he was married previously twice before? I did know. Bro, come on! However, oh I didn't come into, listen though, I knew, but I didn't come into this knowledge until after we married. So when I. So you did marry then. That's all you just said. You did. Oh. That's crazy how people just use religion to destroy their marriages. That's so wild. Man, hey, yo, man. Hey, oh man, he's lucky. He's lucky he got out of that. She would have had a kid. Ooh, worse. Worse. I knew that it was wrong. I got out of it. Is that why you got a divorce? Yes. Okay, so y'all were married. And then when did you get the knowledge that he still married biblically to his first wife? This was probably in 2018, 18, 17. Were you in church when it, I mean, I'm just wondering, how did you get the information? Yeah, I was in church, but I was praying about it too. So it was just something that I was struggling with. And, you know, once I came into the knowledge, I just knew that I needed to get out of it. I wasn't going to just stay in it just because. No. Okay. So I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn from uh -huh. your point of view. So you're saying you're, you were never biblically married because your husband was an ex divorcee right yes and his first spouse is still living now has she been you know passed on he has the right to go remarry but while she's still living no she belongs to him and he belongs to her pharaoh's kingdom said man after bible talk you're twisting it for your benefit stop the cat possibly <laughs> okay no response no. Well, you need to know her history to know if she if she's twisting it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to just take that face value. Wait, hold the hell up. You on a dating show to get with a guy. When in the world did that become Bible like? Is that Christian like to go on a dating show to try to get a guy? I thought you were supposed to be you know going to talk to your pastor and you know praying to God. Like, what are you talking? How are you on Kendra G thing? He might be right. I'm very sure he's right. You're twisting it. Heffa, you're twisting it. Mm, kick rocks. Texas Sweet Kai said, all sins are equal, though, biblically. So how is children out of wedlock okay? They're not equal, but she's, but children out of wedlock, she got to explain that part. That, Like I said, that's between them and the most high. They don't have nothing to do with me. I didn't have the children out of wedlock. So you don't think a man that has kids belongs to his baby mama. Mm -hmm. 
No, because they, I mean, they didn't get married. But they have kids together. So would you understand when he has to be there and show up for her because she's his children's mom? Yeah, I mean, of course. But that doesn't mean that they belong to each other just because they have children. I mean, a lot of people, they're not going to see it like that, Kendra. A lot of people think they can just get divorced and remarried just for whatever reason. If you understand it, you understand. If you don't, then you're just going to see it the way you want to. And that's fine. I'm not looking for that person. I'm looking for the person that understands what it is. Okay. Coffee killer, what scriptures are in the Bible that refers to what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. Um, well, we're waiting. If you go and read about uh, divorce and remarriage, I believe it's in corinthians but don't quote me i have to well, get what's it the scripture that gave you your aha moment and said i gotta divorce my husband because you said you read the bible after your marriage you knew he was already married twice but in that marriage you read the bible and it educated you differently so what was the scripture that made you educated to this point and this belief it's true when it talks about you know you divorcing your husband or your wife it mentions how you know if you go and remarry someone else, you're- Right, uh, we're asking you, do you know where that was and where it's at in the Bible? Like I said, no, I can't get off the top of my head, but it's in there. It's, I believe it's in Corinthians, but I would have to go back and get it. So you don't even remember the scripture that ended your marriage. She's nuts. That's not just a little problem. That's like a big problem right there. Mm, 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 mm. Pam said, do you belong to the church of Christ? My friend believes there have, there have to be certain reasons for divorce. True. No, I grew up Pentecostal, but I'm not that anymore. Love and Dating in Los Angeles says, Christians have no idea what the woman is talking about in regards of marriage. This is the way of the Israelites. Mm, I, I do subscribe to them, but a lot of them believe in polygamy, so. Mm. Okay. What? What are you talking about? You can't just do the Old Testament and then just say, you're gonna do the Old Testament. But when the Old Testament say, polygyny is all right to do, now you don't wanna follow it? You're picking and choosing. You're manipulating the Bible. You're a devil child. That's what I just realized. Yep, fire, fire, <sighs> fire. You're a devil child. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I pass. Okay. Three, four. Oh, so you probably were intimate with somebody before. You are a sinner. She's a sinner, everybody. She's a hooker. That's what I just heard. Big screen. Yeah, man. Uh, I didn't know you supposed to use the Bible to ruin your marriage. Like, that sounds wild. But this lady is picking and choosing to be... Old Testament and New Testament. Uh, I like stuff in here. I like stuff in there. I don't like this stuff right here. That's yucky. That's icky. I don't like people like that. If you don't listen to the Bible. Just listen to it. Have fun. What you doing? It's not even a black people thing. That's like that's like every race. Every race just play with the Bible. I want everybody to know, man. Based off the Bible, they told you, boy, heaven gonna be empty. It's gonna be real empty up there. It's gonna be a lot of space for you to kick your legs out and like relax. You're gonna just be sitting there like, oh mm, man, this is so much space. Where's my family? That's what you're gonna be thinking. I'm not the Bible person. Y'all should know I had to have Stan read it to me. The voice speaking in my ears, that was Stan reading the Bible to me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me or Stan. Stop using the Bible to, um, to ruin yourself and then justify it. Because how do you know he did not know the rules either? If he didn't know the rules and you didn't know the rules, but you still treating him off, off of the rules, that means you got to treat yourself like off the rules. You got to treat yourself like that as well. So he was married and you was married. Can't get nobody. And you're on Kendra G's show, which keeps blowing my mind. Being on Kendra G's show, it blows my mind when I hear a person saying they, they're like a, a full on Christian on a dating show. Wow. Oh, oh you didn't know what that was? Oh, that doo-doo,